I just ran 10 miles. But I'm gonna tell you, my foot was killing me, my right foot. Uh, shit. That shit hurt. Right here, that's where that joint hurt at. It's the first time that ever happened to me in my life. And I ever felt that. I'm definitely gonna slow down on my vitamin D. I'm taking, I, I feel like that's directly related because there was nothing else I'm doing differently. I'm gonna switch that up crazy. How they holding it down in the gym. Clean gym, I like that. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel, Roy Wands. I feel amazing. Why? I'm alive, baby, I'm alive. <laughs> so, with this experiment of D3, people want to say vitamin D3 so bad, but it's not a vitamin, it's a hormone. But it's so ingrained in us. But this experiment has been going fantastically. You know, I've been doing it for about two months now. And in the last three weeks, that's when I decided to ramp it up to 20,000 milligrams a day. Now, because of me running in the intro that I just showed y'all and having a little foot pain, I decided to step back on the amount of D3 that I was taking from 20,000 to 10,000 I use a day. And basically when I did that, I had no other issues whatsoever. It felt, fan I felt fantastically. So I can, I'm going to continue to do this, you know, at least until I get my blood test back and I speak to a physician that can kind of walk me through if I'm heading in the right direction or if I'm not. Because I like to have that tangible proof. But one of the reasons I actually got into this too is because of something called seasonal affective disorder otherwise known as sad. It's pretty much in the winter time, in the fall time, whenever the sun is not out as much, you generally get a little depressed. For me, I do get a little depressed in the winter, nothing major. My sister on the other hand, she gets, she's like mega depressed in the winter time. Like it really affects her where she has a problem working and everything like that. Um, for me, I remember specifically going to Costa Rica. And when I went to Costa Rica, I felt freaking fantastic. I mean, like amazing. I lived out there for about a month. Some of the things I would do while I was out there is I'd walk two hours every day, going to where I need to go for an hour and then coming back for an hour. I worked out four times during the month, <laughs> four. And I gained about 10 pounds of muscle by the time I left Costa Rica. It was mind blowing to me because I didn't really put in that much effort. I didn't work out like a beast. I wasn't eating like a beast, but I literally gained 10 pounds of muscle. Everybody saw it. When I came back, people were like, whoa, you gained 10 pounds of muscle, easy. You, you got so much bigger. And the other thing, it was like, you are so much darker. <laughs> it was like, you got at least six times darker. <laughs> and, it, and I knew it was true because I lived and breathed in the sun because I love it so much. But ever since Costa Rica, I've been trying to duplicate that feeling and the results I was getting physically. Because I mean, I didn't even put in, I work out way more <laughs> before that and after that and still haven't received that kind of result. So putting on 10 pounds of muscle, just eating regularly and not really doing much, just working out four times, like I said. So that has something I've been trying to duplicate and never was really successful. So just not too long ago, I went to Miami, Florida and I have a niece out there and I would visit her every other day while I was there. It was like from seven, it was like from 75 degrees to 85 degrees every single day. Phenomenal. Out in the beach, Miami South Beach, 80 degrees, magnificent spot. So I would go on top of the hotel rooftop and just freaking sunbathe for an hour before I start my day. That's what I would do every single day. So by the fourth time of me visiting my niece, she looked at me like in complete shock. 
and just started busting out laughs. He was like, yo, you got so much doctor. <laughs> and I knew it was true. But I'm gonna tell you something, I felt so phenomenal. So coming back, that's what really ramped me up to really get into this again. I was like, wait a minute, I'm feeling fantastic when I'm out there. And, and it dawned on me, maybe this is has to do with the sun. Maybe it's, it's me getting all of the sunlight that's really changing my mood. Maybe it's what's giving me a physical feeling of feeling good. So that's why I started the D3 again when I came back. And when I came back, I also read this book. This book. Faster, Quicker, Stronger with D3 by John Canal. This book is amazing. John Canal is the executive director and co-founder of the Vitamin D Council. And let me tell you something. I read this book and I was shocked. Besides the list of diseases and disorders associated with vitamin D deficiency, which is just right here, this page right here, is mind boggling. I'm not gonna even try to read you all of that because it's the diabetes, autism, asthma, a lung infection, headaches, hearing loss, um, rickets, obesity. I mean, like tons of things that is literally affected by not having enough vitamin D in your system. And the people that are in like wintry kind of areas suffer from that a lot more than people who are closer to the equator. But one of the other things that he spoke about that really caught my attention was vitamin three actually building up your muscle fibers, right? This is studies, I mean tons of studies. It builds up your muscle fi fibers. It also creates an enzyme in your stomach that builds neurotransmitters. And these neurotransmitters reduce your depression. <laughs> Can you believe this? Neurotransmitters are created from an enzyme from D3 that reduces your depression. So that's why when the sun is out, we start to feel way better. Right? It's like, oh my God, the summertime, everybody's excited. Especially in New York, everybody loses their mind when it's the first 70 degree day outside. Everybody jump outside, everybody's happy, smiling, the energy just shifted completely. So it's really a thing. The sunlight, and if you can't get it naturally by going out in the sun, a lot of us are enclosed in these environments in our offices or in our home, working from home now. We're not getting enough vitamin D3. We're not getting enough sunlight. So we have to take a supplement. At least that's what I'm doing, and I feel the difference. It's immense. You start to feel more joyful. I'm a joyful dude already. But in the winter and the fall, I want to maintain that. And right now, I wanna to continue to build muscle mass, fast twitch fibers, you know, so I can continue to get better in my physical endeavors, whether it's sports or just bodybuilding. I wanna to continue to get better. So D3 has a, 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 a real credible history of helping people to get better, especially athletes, especially everyday people who are D3 deficient. They saying like, 60 to 70 percent of Americans are D3 deficient, and it's really deficient across the, the planet, at least according to this book and all the studies that I was reading, which is freaking incredible. So, my goal is to continue this. I'm waiting for my blood test to come back. Once that happens, I'm gonna keep y'all posted and see how far I'm gonna go with this. But man, D3 is the bomb. Most of the athletes that they was talking about in that book have been doing it for a long period of time, like a year, easy, a year, two years of taking D3 consistently throughout the freaking um, day. And they're getting phenomenal results in terms of back pain. Their back pain is disappearing. Their agility is getting better. Their headaches are going away. I mean, this kind of information is amazing. And if you can do that, we're just taking a simple thing like D3. Of course, remember, you gotta take the K2 to go along with it. Vitamin D pulls out um, calcium from your bones and it lodges in your soft tissue and your, and your bloodstream. So the, the K2 actually removes it from those places and puts it back in your bones. It's also good to take a little calcium and magnesium 
to go along with it. If you can, take a little vi uh, vitamin B complex. If you can, you know what I mean? But the main thing is to get that vitamin D3 and the K2. Calcium magnesium is pretty good too. Cause I feel like, you know, you kind of just use it up if you're athletic like me, you really going hard working out. You kind of lose a lot of that when you're doing that. But to get y'all back in the mix with this, take some D3, man. Try it out, try it out for yourself. See how it feels, see how it feels. Then get back to me. I'll get back with y'all soon.